It's funny how the tables have turned Yeah, it's funny how the tables have turned Hi guys, in this video I would like to show you what a typical charging situation looks like. As you may have noticed, I made some changes to the bike. I have attached a 100 watt solar panel to the trailer. This panel charges the bike while I ride. Whenever there is a need for more power, I can also plug in my 200 watt panel. I've been waiting on my cows to come home I've been waiting on my cows to come home But they gone off to Georgia to find greener grass to roam I've been waiting on my cows to come home I've been counting on my chickens for they hatch I've been counting on my chickens for they hatch but then the mama hen went and aborted half the batch I've been counting all my chickens for the hatch Wake up Lou, your faith is gone And you took with it both the cotton and the corn Wake up Lou, it's time to be rolling on You lost the cattle and the sheep and the whole damn farm My pig's too tired for rolling in the mud Yeah, my pig's too tired for rolling in the mud He took to books and the prescription drugs My pig's too tired for rolling in the mud As you can see, it's pretty simple This is the solar controller The uh, current comes from the panel through these wires into the uh, first into the current meter and then into the solar controller and uh, the output of the solar controller goes right into the battery of the bike so this is the jumper you will see it in the schematics when I <coughs> disconnect the jumper uh, this freeze this uh, plug into which I can plug in the larger solar panel and I will show you immediately I dug a 20 foot grave on my lot 14 feet for the animals who shared with me this plot and 6 feet for my body to rot wake up blue your faith is gone and it took with it both the cotton and the corn Wake up Luke, it's time to be rolling on You lost the cattle and the sheep and the whole damn farm This is the normal arrangement where the 100 watt solar panel attached to the trailer is providing power through the jumper through the current meter and the charge controller to the battery Whenever I stop and need more power, I remove the plug, plug in the second solar panel, so the whole system becomes a 300 watt peak system and I can charge my bike with this higher power. When the jumper is plugged in, I have access to 100 watt peak power. Right now, here, I only have about 65 watts due to the hazy weather. When the second panel is connected, the system becomes a 300 watt system. Unfortunately, you cannot see it here, but the power meter reads about 140 watts.
I have been here for about an hour and during this time I managed to charge my bike from 60% to about 80%. The display initially showed 83% but after a few minutes it stabilized at 80% which is still pretty good considering the hazy weather conditions.